Hello and thank you for stopping by Culinary Zeal to watch this video. In this video, I'm going to share with you not just a recipe, but I'm also going to share with you some important cooking tips that will help you maximize the flavors and make these prawn skewers your favorite party appetizer. So let's begin. We'll first prepare a marinade for the prawns with juice of one medium lime, finely chopped garlic. Make sure the garlic is really finely chopped. One teaspoon of finely chopped coriander leaves. One teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder. Half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. One tablespoon of cornstarch. Half a teaspoon of crushed pepper. Two tablespoons of olive oil. A detailed list of ingredients used is mentioned in the description box below. And lastly, we'll be adding salt to taste. We're going to mix these ingredients really well to ensure that they are well combined. We are not adding the ingredients directly on the prawns to avoid them clumping up unevenly. Even though you're tempted to avoid overloading the marinade with spices, we don't want to make this dish too heavy on spices because we are serving this as appetizer and we want the flavor of the prawn to really shine through. Once the marinade is ready, check and adjust the salt level. Add in 400 grams of cleaned and deveined prawns. We have used medium sized prawns as we are going to be adding them in skewers. You can use the same marinade for larger prawns as well. Give it a good mix. If you love prawns, we have another video for prawns and peri peri sauce on our channel. Do check it out. Once thoroughly mixed, we will let this rest aside for a minimum of 1 hour. Once the prawns have marinated, insert them into skewers. You can add 3 or 4 depending on the size of the skewer sticks. Also take into consideration the size of the pan in which you will be frying them. Continue to prepare the rest of the skewer sticks. If you do not have skewers, it's fine. You can directly pan fry the prawns. For the ease of understanding, we have shown all the skewer sticks prepared and then we'll be proceeding to fry. You can also simultaneously start frying batches of uh, prawn skewers while preparing the rest of them. Heat a pan and add 2 tablespoons of butter. Butter really enhances the flavor of the prawns. As the butter is melting, add a little bit of oil to prevent the butter from burning. I tilt and swirl the pan because I want the butter and the oil mixture to completely coat the pan. This is a really simple recipe and gets done quickly. I hope you try it out. Once the butter and oil mixture is sufficiently hot, add in the skewers. Avoid overcrowding the pan and just fry the skewers in batches. If you've tried any of the recipes from our channel, do leave your feedback in the comment section. After a minute or two, start basting. What you need to do is the oil and butter mixture that is there in the pan. You just need to take it with a spoon and keep drizzling it over the prawns so that as the bottom side is getting cooked, the top does not dry out. Basting is a very important step and do not skip it because this will ensure that your prawns remain juicy. In 4 to 5 minutes, you will see a nice char on the prawns and they are ready to be flipped. The prawns will take just 4 to 5 minutes to be fried on each side. And with that kind of aroma, even 4 to 5 minutes sometimes seems like a very long time to wait. After you have turned over the skewers, ensure that the butter and the oil mixture is evenly coating the pan. I tend to lift it and just swirl it around. You can totally skip this if you're not comfortable with it. But basting isn't optional, so even after you've turned over the skewers, after a minute or two, start basting on the other side as well. If you skip this, what happens is as the bottom part is cooking, the top will dry out. And once you've removed it from the pan, as it cools, it will get hard and chewy. As I mentioned before, the prawns will take just 4 to 5 minutes on each side and you will see a lovely char on the prawns in 4 to 5 minutes. I strongly recommend making a few extra skewers than you would require because just look at it, it does get a little irresistible. 
I just put them on the sides for like 30 seconds or so just to make sure if there is any marinade on the sides that gets cooked as well. Prawn skewers are now ready and you can take them off the pan. Allow it to rest aside for a minute or so to settle down from that heat. Oh, the sight of these deliciously juicy charred prawns. I assure you this is going to be a party favorite. But wait a minute, our work is not yet done. We are going to proceed to fry the remaining prawn skewers that we left aside. It's the same procedure, baste after a minute or two and flip them over after 4-5 to five minutes. And juicy prawn skewers are ready. Garnish with chopped coriander leaves and serve hot. If you enjoyed watching this video, it would truly make us very happy if you can click the like button below. If you've tried this recipe, do share your feedback. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for such interesting recipes. Thank you.